What's going on guys? So today we're going to be talking about Cloudflare, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So this report came out the other day that people are reusing their passwords a lot more than they should be. And really, you never should be for various reasons. There is a website you can go to haveibeenpwned.com and you can check out if your password has been leaked before. But not only that, as I've mentioned in the past, your password could act as a unique fingerprint of you. So consider this, if you are creating a new account for open source intelligence investigation reasons and you don't want it under your actual name, consider what passwords you use. If you use a similar password on that new account, it's going to link to all of the other places where you have used a similar password, especially with parties like Cloudflare. Having access to this data, it's a serious issue, especially if somebody gave a warrant of some form to get all of that information. And then in that way, if it's a repressive regime or something like that, they could then use that to de-anonymize people. All the passwords could be picked up by the practices of Cloudflare. And what Cloudflare does is it basically sits in between. So it's a man in the middle. Normally a website will be like this and the attacker might be here and you are visiting the site, but Cloudflare will block that. And the only way it can actually block certain types of attacks is to actually be able to read that data. So you need to know this in case security matters to you, that there is a centralized party, Cloudflare, that can actually read the encrypted data. So it's pretty important to know about, especially when there's been various bugs that could actually possibly leak some of your sensitive information. So this is something everyone should know about. And I also don't appreciate how they block Tor users and they probably block I2P out proxy users. So definitely not a fan of that. I mean, I understand the actual purpose of Cloudflare to actually block some of these types of attacks, but I just think we should all be on Tor Onion sites. I think we should all be on I2P Eve sites. That's where you'll have true end-to-end -end encryption to actually protect you and all of the information that's entered. So with Cloudflare, you actually have a man-in-the-middle attack managing the connection, and in that way, being a central party with so much data, I've actually seen a hearing with the US government talking about how valuable Cloudflare's data access is. Not to say they did anything from that, but it is important to know that a centralized party, Cloudflare, is in a position where if someone were interested in compromising anything, Cloudflare would be a large target to subvert. And in that way, people should be mindful of this. When they see a Cloudflare page when they're visiting a website, a Cloudflare certificate, they need to know that their data is not just between them and the website. It's also between Cloudflare. And you can tell, and it is a good thing that they reported that these, you know, on Cloudflare's side in this in this part of the report, I'm going to say, it's good that they reported that the password reuse is rampant. I mean, I do agree with reporting that. And, of course, that adds a little bit of transparency that they are actually able to actually collect the information. Now they stay, they say it's always uh, stored in a hash file, so it's not like clear text stored, but regardless, they can actually read the passwords. If they so choose, they could actually do whatever they want. They could actually manipulate the traffic. They could manipulate you as a visitor. So you have to be aware of this stuff. You may be redirected. If they were a malicious party, you could be redirected to something else and it could look like the website. It could have you enter all kinds of sensitive information. These are things people just need to understand. And if you want to follow me, you can go to falsedon.org slash at RTP. I'm not on Twitter at the moment. I was until they started blocking tour this week or they did something to my account after my re recent Freedom Cities and Oligarchs video. So we'll see. Maybe it was just me. Let me know. Are you also blocked from logging in on X or Twitter over Tor?
I'd love to know if other people are experiencing this. I don't really care. I mean, I didn't need that account. It was only to help promote the videos and the blog since it's not well promoted by the algorithm. So I do really appreciate your guys' support. If you could just share this video, if you could share any of the videos, anything you can do to help support the channel is a huge help and I really appreciate it. And if you want to support this in another way, you could always buy me a coffee or join the membership as another way to support monthly. There's also other things that I offer to people if they become long-term supporters. So appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for your comments, for your likes. Everything you can do to help this channel continue into the future is much appreciated. Thank you guys, and I will be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.